Tonight I'm going to introduce to you the neither nor truth table. And don't make me say that again. So how do you represent a logical neither nor? Well, that is by an arrow. Okay. What your is saying is that it's neither one thing nor the other. Allow me to illustrate. Here is the neither nor truth table. Now let's say that you what you really want to say, okay, let, let's say in this logical statement you're going to say that whatever object you have is neither a basketball nor is it orange. Okay. So let's go through the two, truth table, shall we? The first statement we're, we're going to say is that we have an orange basketball. Now, if we, if we have an orange basketball, then it is orange and it's a basketball, so this statement is false. Okay? Now, let's say you have a blue basketball. Okay? So, the basketball part is true, but it's blue this time. Well, you originally said what you wanted to try to say is that the object is neither a basketball nor is it orange. Well, if it is a basketball, then that statement is false. Okay. The next one. Well, your object, let's say, is... Let's say your object is a packing box. But the packing box is orange. Well, the statement is still false because even though it's no longer a basketball, it's still orange. There you go. Now, what if you have a gray packing box? Okay, you have a packing box, it's gray. So now both statements are false, and because both statements are false, then the statement that it's neither a basketball nor is it uh, orange is now true. So if these two are false, this one becomes true. And that's how the neither nor truth table actually works. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.